Hi everyone. Today, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I ordered from Hobonichi. I actually got this yesterday and I filmed the video and it had um, stopped recording because my memory card was full. So I'm gonna go ahead and redo the video. So um, I didn't order my Hobonichi stuff until literally, I believe it was 12 days after the release. Um, I actually had to wait, I think maybe a couple of days because um, I was waiting for one of the covers to go back in stock and then actually two of the covers. And then when they were back in stock, I missed out on one of them. So I was like, uh, I'll go ahead and just put my order in anyways, while they still have the other stuff. So that's what I did. And I didn't receive it until yesterday. So let's go ahead and see what I got. Okay. So I do like the color of the box this year, this like kind of a uh, blue, um, pale blue or whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to take everything out to make it easier and then put the box to the side. So let's see, I want to get it all out in one go here. So let's close it up. Okay. So I don't think I ordered as much as I did last year. At least I don't feel that I did. Um, yeah. So this is probably the free item. Um, I didn't realize that there was a free, like a free item like this. Um, cause I, I was, I was looking at the previews last month, but I wasn't paying attention too much to them. So I didn't know that they were giving out these free notebooks until I started seeing people um, posting their hauls. And then I was just kind of like, Oh, what is that? And then, you know, so I guess you get one just like with the pen based off of like if you order a planner. So, ooh, I like this. I do like this design. And oh, good. It's grid. So it's kind of nice. I mean, um, this is what? A6? Yeah, this is A6 size. So we got that one. Okay. I'm gonna put that to the side. This is the, the free pin this year. It's yellow and orange, my two least favorite colors, <laughs> but I'll still use it. I do like these pins. Um, I made this year, I made it a point not to order the refills. I don't even think they or, they offered it, but I still, because that's what held up my order last year because customs, I don't know, it's like saying, oh, they're dangerous or something like that. And anyways, yeah, so I didn't order any refills. And then for the first time I ordered stamps. So I meant to order more, but I kind of held back based off of how much I was spending. And so I only got these two, which I can use also with my, um, hold on, let me get closer, with my traveler's notebook. So it's the departure and arrival um, stamps. And they're really cute. And I like the fact that they're rubber and not acrylic. So, and they're small too. So they'll definitely fit like in my Delphonics. Okay. So as you can see, here are the cover, or at least the first one. So it's an A5. So I wanted to get this in A6, but by the time that I had got back on the website, it was already sold out again. And I don't know if they're going to restock, but you know, I might check on Amazon if they get it again and maybe order it that way. Um, I don't mind if I'm going to have to pay a little bit more, but I, I kind of want it in A6, but I don't know. We'll see, you know, if Amazon gets it later on in, you know, like, by December or something, if I still really want it, then I'll go ahead and get it. But I'm happy with the A5. It's a beautiful cover. I really love, um, you know, that cat right there. And I like the inside, how it looks and you get a sticker, you know, and then of course that. So yeah, I like it. Um, I may not use it right away. Sometimes I just like collecting the covers. So that could be what I'll just end up doing. And so here are the other covers. I did order three covers this year. Two are a, A6, one A5. So I got this cover because I like the illustrations. I don't know the name of the artist for both of these. So, um, but I just really like this one. I almost got this one in A5 instead, but I changed my mind and just um, went ahead and got an A6 since they had it in stock. And I like that it has the little manga um, here on the inside cover so cute you know so got that one and then this is the cover that i'm going to be using for next year 
Um, I just love the colors. It's just a beautiful cover. Um, you know, I don't know why they had to choose yellow as the inside, but that's okay. And I did get the matching um, pencil board for it. I do like using the pencil boards. I have to use them, you know, because I tend to write with a little bit heavier hand. So um, pencil boards are like a lifesaver. And then, of course, I got the English version Monday Start for the A6, um, the planner. So that's what I'll be using for next year. I kind of like the A6. It's been working out for me um, because I came from an A5 in 2023. And um, it was just, it was, it was really too much room for me because there were times when most of the time I wouldn't have enough to even like fill half a page, you know, and I felt like I'm just wasting space, wasting the planner itself. So um, what I typically do is I will write, you know, in the A6, just really briefly what happened in the day. And then if I want to expand on my thoughts, then I move over to my A5. Um, cause I have like a 2021 and a 2022 Techo, um, and a five and they're old. I got them at the bin stores for super cheap. I just cover the dates with, um, washi tape and I just go ahead and just like, you know, use my little date stamp and I can expand on there and use as many pages as I want to. So it's been working out great for me. And I know that it'll take me forever to fill up just that one Techo. So, I mean, I have a backup. I don't even have to buy any more, um, day freeze. And I already have like a 2022 and a 2023 day free, which I haven't even used yet. I'm not even sure. I think they're both a five as well. So I am so good to go <laughs> on that. So I really just, you know, we'll just keep on just purchasing the a six. So we got that. And then I did pick up the matching, um, pencil boards for this cover right here. I got the A5, but I also got the A6 and I got the weeks in case I was going to do the weeks. I was really just on the fence about getting the weeks to begin with because um, I just, I don't know, at the time I just didn't want to spend the extra money on the weeks. And so I didn't order it. And then after I put my order in, I was like, oh, uh, maybe I should have ordered. But then I was like thinking, maybe I don't really need to do the weeks because originally I was going to just stick with the A6 and do all of my fitness stuff in there. But then I realized I don't want to be dragging this to my doctor appointments because what if I misplace it? What if I accidentally leave, leave it there? It's got my private thoughts. So it's best if I just keep a separate um, planner or whatnot for my fitness stuff. So I started thinking about maybe I should try doing the um, Traveler's Notebook. And I have a video, which I'll try to link to, um, with the passport that I had recently ordered from Amazon. So I'm going to try that out once Traveler's Notebook um, releases their 2025 um, inserts. Um, I'm going to go ahead and order and try that out. And if that doesn't work out, then I can always go and just get a you know, a week's. And hopefully by then, you know, people will be selling their weeks for really cheap, unused ones, especially around January and stuff, because they want to get rid of them, right? Because they're not going to use them. So I may go that route, but we'll see. So, but I still wanted to collect because I just love, um, I love the design. So I did pick that one up and then I got the cover on covers. Now I already have a clear cover on cover for this year. So I'll probably take it off and put it on here. There's no point in ordering another one because once I archive, you know, the previous journal and cover, then, you know, I put it in the box or whatnot. I don't need to put, leave it in a cover. So I only ordered just the printed um, covers and I had to get them because this is so beautiful. I love this style of cover. Um, I wish they had done them last year kind of like this because I don't really like too much like the... Um, the one with color, I just think it looks so beautiful when you have a plain cover, a, a solid color one, and then you have something like this on it. So, and I'm still trying to get some of the old ones, like I think 2021 or something like that, 2020. Um, so yeah, I got it in A5, A6, and then I also purchased it in the weeks because like I said, I wasn't sure yet if I was going to get the weeks and I was going to get one with a design, but you know, the one I think that was matching with this cover, but I don't know. We'll see. I may just go with the solid color one because that is cheaper and I can use this cover for it. So yeah, 
these are all the things that I had ordered from Hobonichi. It was pricier than what I, you know, I spent more this year than I did last year, even though the exchange rate was supposed to be better, but I don't know. Um, I unfortunately missed out on the uh, price decrease when they had released because, you know, they had said that there was an error um, in the pricing of everything. And I thought that was kind of interesting because, yeah, a lot of stuff was way cheaper when they released it on September 1st. And then when I went back to order, I was like, wow, I don't remember the covers being this much and the um, weeks being that much. So, yeah. Who knows? But anyways, I mean, I don't mind paying the $30 for the shipping because one, I've been ordering from Japan since like 2021. Okay. Not 2021, 20, 2001. Um, when I used to order, when I used to buy stuff on Yahoo Japan and I'm used to like spending like the 15 to $45 for EMS shipping. Um, to me, it's worth it because one, stuff that I can't get in the US. Two, I get it right away. I'm impatient like everybody else wants to get their stuff right away. And, you know, you get it in less than a week, depending on where you live. And it's, you know, yeah. So it's like, to me, it's like $30 for shipping and it's from overseas. That's cheap. So when I was seeing all these people freaking griping, you know, on Facebook about the shipping charges, I'm like, you know what? That's really cheap considering how much some of this stuff weighs you know, so stop complaining. Yeah, they're complaining that it's FedEx. But for me, I don't mind because I live in Memphis and FedEx is based in Memphis. So in a sense, I am getting my shit faster because it only has to go right back to the main hub here. And then to me, you know, before, unlike other people, it comes to the hub and then it goes out again. So yeah, either way, um, I'm really happy with my purchases. And yeah, if you purchased from Hobonichi, let me know in the comments. I would love to see your video. Okay. All right, everyone. So I hope you're having a great week and a great day and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.